Hello guys and welcome to another redstone tutorial. Um, this time we're going to talk about clocks and especially the clock you see in front of me. I was looking on the Minecraft forums and I was reading up on someone that asked if you could make a redstone clock that could be quicker or like changed its timings based on the press of a redstone button. I was like that's possible and I saw some, res um, some responses to that and what you could do is like simply have a T flip flop that will switch between two clocks but I was like what if you have one clock that is like modular so that's basically what I did I made a clock that is modular and it's based on this idea where you can place a redstone repeater like this next to it and now the clock is longer and if I just remove this block the clock is quicker again. So what I did is I removed these blocks with pistons and that seemed to work. Um, this is the design that was the result of it. And you can see it's very slow now, like the lamp blinks on once, whilst if I do this, the lamp blinks really quickly. You can see that the clock increases in speed with the press of a button. Um, it's quite resource intensive and it's probably no, not the most compact design but I think it's a cool idea and it could be used for many things I think um, um, For as for the um, post on the Minecraft forums I will leave a reply on that and I'll also make sure to leave a, uh, uh, the link in the description for the post but uh, with that further ado let's get building of this thing so to get things started with this build we're gonna start with a block of wool or a building block of your choice up here with a lever on it and then on the side we're gonna press a um, redstone torch and then with a block up like this a block on the side repeater in there and there you go, you've got your basic clock, which you can turn off and on. Right. From that, we need to extend this clock with a repeater. And we're going to keep continue on to making this like this. Alright, so repeater, repeater, block up like this, and then increase this line. So we now have like a really long clock. Now to get uh, to make the input system we're gonna have a block on the side up here with a block on top then a block from going from there with a, a repeater piston piston up like this then a block on the side redstone redstone dust repeater block up like this and redstone torch from that we're going to get a line out of here that runs across these and then from that line we're going to add a redstone dust across it and that's basically going to be our toggle so when I dis do this um, make sure this is on the 3 tick delay you see that this slide blinks shortly now we're going to need to build the pistons and in order to place in the pistons let me just um, create the pistons. Right, the pistons needs to retract these blocks. So I'm just gonna make like a line here uh, going across break not these blocks. Broke the wrong blocks. Break these blocks and have like the pistons in between. There we go. Now on these uh, blocks we're gonna place repeaters, each on a two tick delay, and then one repeater out there also on a two tick delay like this. Now to place a block with redstone on top, place a block here, have a repeater, so and then place blocks on top. So as you can see all uh, pistons uh, go out. Now you place slabs here, um, place the slabs above the pistons otherwise you get uh, with quasi connectivity which means that the pistons will be affected by this line of redstone up here 
Um, you don't want that, so we're placing redstone slabs and then place another block at the end. And then run redstone across, like this. On this place, place a repeater on three ticks and then run it in there. As you can see, it's now turning into a clock. We don't want that, so we um, need to lock all these repeaters. We're gonna do that by placing blocks on the side. Um, this needs to be one longer. Blocks on the side and place repeaters on here. As you can see, it's now locked. Um, and if I press this button, nothing happens because this one is stuck. Um, in order to fix that, that it's resetting, we need another reset line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a redstone line out of here. Uh, take redstone dust, a, repeat, um, a block up like this, redstone, another block up like this, with redstone, uh, with a repeater going across, no, not a repeater. With redstone going across, block up on top so they don't connect. Then a block, another block up like this, block on the side, repeater, and you will see that it resets. So um, to make sure that this reset goes correctly, I think I think we already got one working. So now it's really quickly, and if we press it, you should see that another block extends, and you press it again, another block extends, and you press it again, another block extends, and then when you press it again, it should reset to its original value. At least that's what I expected. Oh, I made a mistake. This should be on two ticks, not on three. Two ticks. So if I press it again now, it should reset and go to its older. You see, it resets, and we have now we've got a clock with a variable amount of speed. So this one is a blink, so that means if you take the uh, inverted output, you get a blink, like a short pulse, whilst if you get the full output, like the direct output, you will see that it you will get a long, um, long redstone signal, which will just blink out shortly. It's all up to you what you want. Um, I, I'd say the inverted is the one you want the most. Um, you could draw that signal from this one. So you, let's say you place a block down. Oh, right here. Place a block down. Draw the signal from here. Or uh, from the side. Or from here, wherever you want. Just this, this entire system is where you can draw your signal from. I hope you found this contraption useful. Uh, make sure to uh, leave a like if you really enjoyed this video. And also, if you think you can do a better version of this, I think it should be possible. Like, this is a very bulky one. There should be a way easier or way more compact version of this. Um, make sure to send it to me. And uh, also make sure to subscribe if you uh, want to see more of my videos and be the first one to see them. And other than that, I thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later.